Hey guys, I'm making this quick update video to let you know where we are with the current development of Analyzer Tools web application beta. Now we're still in beta, but we're getting very close to um, being out of beta. And that's because we're making a ton of progress right now on fixing all the bugs and getting it to a state where we're just really working on new stuff and not really working on bugs anymore. As you can see, this is our current work list and priority one used to just be red with bugs and now you can see there's only really one little bug we know about in priority one. Everything else we're working on is really new stuff which is exciting because it's, it's really going to give you guys things that you notice in the program that are new. Whether it's the look, the functionality, the performance, you're really going to start seeing um, things that are advancing in the program as opposed to bugs where you probably never saw them to begin with or maybe saw a few of them and they were pretty much out of sight out of mind for most people. Um, as in terms of things that we've recently deployed you could see a ton of bugs uh, have been fixed in the last just few weeks we've made a ton of progress here and uh, one, of the, one of the things that we've um, really struggled with <laughs> And, uh, and this took a long time for us to get right, is AMZ files and the refresh uh, functionality. I don't know that all of our uh, customers really know these two features exist, and I think they're extremely useful. So I'm gonna show them off in this update video. The, now it's important to note if you're a user of the Windows application, these features also exist in the Windows application and now they um, they also work now in the web application but before I do that I would like to give you guys that haven't seen the new user interface that we're working on this is one of the coolest features coolest updates that we've got going on this is in a staging environment guys so this isn't really hooked up to anything but this is a totally live you know front end design this is what it's going to look like, and it's going to look like this very soon. We're actually um, coding this right now as we speak. Um, you could see things are, uh, things look pretty darn cool here. Now, one thing that's gonna look different is this grid is going to look much better. It's gonna look more like the grid that looks, that we have now instead of this. We just didn't really touch the grid on this uh, demo version here, but you can see it all looks very slick. It's got some new functionality. You could choose lists from the results screen. It's got some new features and buttons and things. I mean, it's really gonna be uh, pretty, pretty neat, I think. So I don't wanna really focus on this too much here, but um, you know, I did want to give you guys that, that really quick um, uh, sneak peek. You can see here's the product details page that will pop up when you look at any particular product. This is gonna be super, super cool, guys. I can't wait to, uh, to launch this. But that's not really the point of this video, so I'm going to close these windows out. I'm gonna focus on the new updates that we've made to the existing web application. Um, and um, I'm gonna start with looking at the refresh feature. So, you may have um, some lists. This may be a regular list that you processed a while ago, or it may be a favorites list. Just imagine you have a winner's list in favorites from a supplier or in a certain product category, uh, and you ran it at some point, and you wanna watch it. You know, in this case, I ran this, I ran all of these and added them to f this favorites list on August the 16th. So that's a little bit more than a month ago. Right, as you guys know, things change on Amazon very quickly. And so I'm gonna take a, a quick snip here, just so you guys can see what this data looks like right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. That's just to show you guys later. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and refresh all. I also have the option to refresh selected rows, but we're just gonna to stick to refresh all. Once the process starts, you can see you get the spinner. It's finished. Uh, on, on bigger lists, it may take a little longer. You don't even have to stay on the page. You can go somewhere else. And now it's refreshed all the, um, it's refreshed all the data. So now let's look and see what it looked like here and what's changed. You can see now that, you know, sales rank, this sales rank is now 43,000. 
this sales rank is now 59, so on and so forth. This guy right here was 52, which is pretty darn good, but it looks like it's gone down to 120. It goes on and on and on. Now you'll, you'll also probably notice, I don't know because I haven't looked, but the sell prices may change too. Oh, you know what? I didn't capture the sell price, did I? Let me see. I didn't, but you know what? We can look at buy box landed. Buy box landed, let's see. Let me scroll this back, bring this in here. Yes, it did, look at that. 14, 37.95. Or I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Nope, 37.95 is the right one. Now this guy went out of stock. So this guy was selling, now there's nothing there. This guy was 19.99, now it's 17.93. 14.69, now it's 11.99. So you guys get it, I think. It updates everything. So you don't have to rerun the file. You simply make a favorites list or you pull up a previously run list and you could refresh it or you could refresh only specific products. It's a super practical, super useful feature and you can see after the refresh, the last run date is updated so you could always see how old your information is. So I think that's pretty cool. This looks like a relatively simple feature guys but this took a lot of back end work we were we worked on this for probably a solid month guys but i'm i'm so glad and relieved that, that it's finally working a hundred percent now the other feature i'm going to show you guys is how to use amz files some of you guys probably don't even know what that means i'll show you if you have a list like this in the web application or you may have a list in the windows application so this is the Windows application now. You can actually go up here and click Save. And let's do this. We're going to put this in Downloads. We're going to go in here and call this Video 1, just for demo purposes. And you can see it's Save as File Type. AMZ analyzer file. We're going to click save. You, you'll get the success message. Now watch this guys. I can go in here in the web application. Click the same button. See but instead of save, click load. And then I'm going to the same folder. Whoops. Here's video one. You see it's an AMZ file. We're going to load it. And it's going to think for just a minute, but what it's going to do, it's going to load this same list in here. And this is forward and backwards compatible, guys. So I can export a list now I can go in here. Let's open that same US winners for the kitchen category list that we were just looking at. I can go in here and the same way, video two, it's going to save. I can go in here and load video two. Look at that, guys. There we go. I think that's pretty cool. So this gives you the ability to save files if you want to. You don't have to because on the web application, your files will be in the recent list section. But let's say you do. Or let's say you have a, a virtual assistant that's maybe working off the Windows application and you want to look at a file um, you know, on the move and you want to do it from a browser and you want to do it from a web application. I don't know, guys, whatever you want to do with it, but you can do that. And I think it can be a pretty useful feature. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we are expecting and hoping that the new uh, user interface that I showed you guys will be launched this year. Um, that means really here in the next, within the next three months, hopefully sooner, you guys are going to see a totally new look to the application. And you know what? It's not just looks. We're also adding a lot of new stuff. And it's going to be really cool. One of the new things that we're working on right now will be email notifications that will be optional once a scan is completed. A little thing, but you know, it can be um, really useful for you guys. If you have features that you'd like to see um, that we haven't talked about, you think that some, you have something that could take the program to another level, please send me an email at alexk at analyzer.tools or you can reach out to our support at support at analyzer.tools. A lot of our functionality, guys, came from your user input. This is a program that is built by Amazon sellers and has been refined by Amazon sellers over time. So please don't hesitate to reach out and give us that feedback. We love to hear it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, looking forward to hearing feedback from you. Please follow us on our YouTube, our Facebook, and Twitter to get notifications first for new features and functionality that hits Analyzer Tools. Thanks again, guys. Take care.